Good evening. My name is Tori Smith, and I monitor a child trafficking operation, which is operated by DARPA and the CIA. And uh, there are a lot of people involved, including most all law enforcement agencies. The people at the top of these agencies are involved. Um, uh, this was started by the Bush family, which are, you know, Nazi war criminals. And um, they have been, uh, not just the Bush family, but the Nazis, uh, have been, ever since World War II basically failed, because in World War II they wanted to conquer the earth and take over and kill most of us all off. But it didn't work out for them. And I really don't think it's going to work out this time, although they have been working very hard to do so again. And they were calling this, uh, the past few days, Easter weekend. Today is March, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, March 30th, Wednesday. And uh, Easter weekend was calling the official start of the Holocaust. And, um, and today they, uh, they have these rituals, which I really don't understand because I'm not criminally insane. Um, but AFRICOM, we have 66 Jewish children uh, in one location and uh, the, the one source. The source is AFRICOM. And what I mean by that is AFRICOM... Uh, went to Europe and picked up all these Jewish children. And they picked them up from the Vatican, which uh, is a major, well, it is literally the child trafficking operation source for all of Europe. And recently I did a report where they funneled 10,000 plus children through and then sent them out to 71 locations um, all over Europe to be gang raped and murdered. This is basically a Luciferian Satanist uh, group of people who murder children during rape or uh, they murder them with a dagger through the heart because uh, of several reasons. And I don't speak for them and I work as, as much as I can to seek justice and um, for what they're doing because I don't think raping and murdering children is, uh, you know, it's horrible. And I think it should be stopped right away. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but um, anyway. So we have 66 Jewish children. They were taken from the Vatican child trafficking operation by AFRICOM. Uh, these 66 children were raped by 176 males under Vatican City, a total of 218 times. And I don't understand those numbers. I'm sure they're significant to the Illuminati, Dark Side, or whatever, Nazis, whatever you want to call them. And... Um, but here it's always sixes and threes and everything. And there are uh, 18 AFRICOM males. Usually what they do is the Air Force and AFRICOM and SOCOM, they usually rape the children on their way over. NATO, uh, ICE, um, you know, a lot of times they rape the children on their way, but this time they didn't. It was 18 AFRICOM males waited until they landed the plane at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. And they were joined by 48 Air Force males, and then the group of 66 males raped each one of these children once. And then they were sent, they were delivered to Roswell, which is every day these human sacrifices have been going on at Roswell. And these 66 Jewish children were gang raped by a group of 666 males again, and um, just like the other couple of days before. And uh, the, each of these males raped these children six times each. So you've got six, so that's a total of 3,996 rapes for 66 children, meaning the 666 males, each, each one of those males raped six children. You know, it was six rapes. They raped six children. So the, and then I remember Bush used to always say, oh, I want to get these kids fully loaded. I want to get these kids fully loaded. Because one of the things I got a message from heaven was they felt that the more semen injections into a child, the more they would be rewarded in the afterlife. They would be given their own universe. Yeah. I know. They should all be institutionalized. And, um, and all 66 of these Jewish children were then killed by 17-inch 17 Illuminati, Illuminati daggers through the heart. And it was the same list of military, CIA, FBI, Secret Service, NSA, TSA, Department of Homeland Security, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines, and uh, NASA was also there. But I don't normally separate NASA out because almost all NASA people are from the Air Force. And so it's like a subsidiary company. So in the past when I've spoken about 
um, you know, Air Force males raping and murdering children. It's, uh, you know, uh, that includes NASA. And um, this child trafficking operation, uh, the people who participate, um, you know, like I said, over and over again, the military, but it's more so politicians, I, I think. And because every, there's only two U.S. senators that are not involved in child trafficking, and they're both women. And, uh, um, you know, there's like 26 governors involved in this, corporate executives, CEOs. I don't know if you've ever looked at the Forbes, I think it's called Forbes Fortune 500 list. I saw it one time and I screamed. I was like, oh my God, that guy's killed 17. This guy's killed eight. This guy's killed 32. This guy's killed 20. You know what I mean? It was just like every CEO from every company has murdered children during rape. And um, it's just, it's, it's really horrible. A lot of police officers are involved here in Indiana. The Indiana State Police have 15 people. The superintendent, the number one guy, has murdered 12 children. And um, so, and I have a meeting with them in the morning. So, you know, if they haul me off and throw me out of the country or kill me, um, I just want you to know I've done my best to uh, fight these people and fight for justice and to bring an end for this child trafficking company. And if you never hear from me again, I really believe that somebody else will just come along and take my place with a big mouth like me and uh, going around telling you who's raping and murdering children in the United States and all over the world. Let's bring this uh, Luciferian Satanist child trafficking operation to an end. God bless your hearts. I love you very much. and Thank you so much for your support and your prayers.